Hello everybody, this is Tag Sniped, and today I'm going to be showing a concept for a new item filter that I just came up with. I don't know if anyone's made this before, um, I haven't really done too much research into it, but from what I can tell, no one's really tried this idea. So the idea here is that we have a piston chain, uh, whatever it's called, uh, of hoppers going around. Um, this only works in bedrock because you can push hoppers in bedrock. So we have a piston chain of hoppers going around. Then as they come under this chest, they pick up items. And then as they go under these, uh, as they go over these decorated pots, it'll drop off uh, items if it can fit them in there. Now the cool thing about this is you don't have to set up your item filters beforehand. You can just have them all empty and as it goes around, whatever items it picks up, it will put into the item. And then the first item that goes into a decorated pot will set the filter. So let me just reset these real quick. And as you can see, some of these hoppers still had items in them. So they got put into the decorated pots. Now if we break this again, make sure all the hoppers are empty. Before we start, uh, we should also be able to notice here right away. If any of these light up, the hoppers had some items in them. But since all the hoppers are empty right now, so we have not set any filters. It's all empty. Let me empty these ch chests real quick. Now. Okay, I just finished checking to make sure everything's empty. So all of these chests are empty right now. I don't have any filters set. I have a total of nine of ten of ten uh, items here that I can sort. Ten modules. You can add more, and you can also wrap it around as you please. Uh, just you can't make you. You have to make sure that this piston is never pushing more than twelve items. I believe this is the limit, so ten on each side will probably be best. So now, if I put ten different items in here, the system will automatically start up. This is just a cool down so that the system runs a little bit after it runs out of items. And this is just a clock triggering the piston feed tape. So if we put items into this chest, they'll go around and they'll start filtering into the different spots. Uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm putting in two, three, five, six, seven, eight, eight unique items. And as you can see, it doesn't matter if I put more stacks of one or any, they'll now start going around. So in Bedrock, because you can move the hoppers, they're getting loaded up with items. As you can see here, about six items each. This is it. As you can see here, about eight items each. And then as they go over these decorated pots, they're depositing the items. Now this is just a standard impulse uh, item filter. Just filtering, making sure that we have, we keep some amount of items in the pot. And as long as we keep some items in the pot, you won't. You, you won't get any duplicates. So this is a nice item filter. And it's working as, it, as you can see it's working now. One thing about this system is I have this cooldown and this clock running in order to keep the piston tape going. You could simply replace it with uh, one of these modules in order to just have the piston tape going infinitely if you don't care about it going off. But I did this so that it would shut down when it's done. If you had a system that would be using it uh, at if you were using it to process a ton of items, it might be beneficial for you to just leave it on if you wish. In which case you would just replace this complicated system over here with one of these little modules. So as you can see as I finish up this up with the redstone, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out. Uh, as I finish this up with the redstone, as you can see we put in eight unique uh, seven unique items and it has activated seven unique modules and no items are making it past this. Now, uh, one of the reasons why is because the same amount of time it takes to load up, from the same amount of time it's loading up from the chest is the same amount of time it gets to unload. So it will never, it, it, it'll have, it has enough time to deposit all the unique items that it picks up. Now, as we can see here, it automatically set its filters, and if you notice it's missing some here, it's because those are what's in the pot. So it automatically set the filters, and it automatically filtered itself into these chests. Uh, all the items are unique, and deposited here. 
Now you may be wondering if there's any benefits to this system. One benefit would be that it can run multiple modules consecutively, so it can theoretically be a lot faster if you pipe in a bunch of items onto this track. It doesn't matter where you pipe it in, uh, if the items are in the hopper, whatever amount of modules you have will multiply the speed. If you have two or three modules for an item, it can go up to three times faster uh, for that item. So. Theoretically, you can sort items pretty quickly with this system. So that's my concept for an item filter, how you can use decorated pots as an item filter using a piston chain with hoppers. Uh, it, uh, this is just a concept, so if you see it, if anyone else, I, I tried to see if anyone else has done this, I couldn't see anything. So if anyone else does something for you on this concept, let me know and I'll put a link in the description. To, so that uh, you can go check that out. Anywho, thanks for watching.